Hey guys, it's Car Guy 11 Today I have my 2016 C7 Corvette behind me and it needs a front brake job. I've covered the reasons why in a past video. Basically, the front rotors are worn through the front slots on the Z51s. And uh, yeah, so they need replaced. The pads need replaced as well, but I actually made a separate video on replacing pads. So I won't go into that today. Today, we're just gonna focus on replacing the front rotors on the C7. So let's get into it. I'll show you what I got. So I decided to replace the front rotors with the OEM GM ones because I wanted to match the slots front to rear. And I got these on Amazon. So I will put Amazon links below for all the parts today. Also, I'm gonna revert back to the OEM brake pads as they're basically new and I'm gonna see how they perform. So I changed out one side and as you can see how worn this rotor is, there's a lip on the top and bottom, plus the slots are worn away from the insides mainly, and it's like that on both sides as well. So definitely time to change it. And as you can see the new one here, no no lip on, on those edges of course. And they're coated for, with that anti-corrosion uh, paint that keeps them rust-free for a little while anyway. All right, so the first step, of course, you want to jack up the car, remove the wheel, and then you're going to actually want to turn the steering so that the caliper comes out uh, where it's easier to access. And you could do this without starting up the vehicle. Uh, just turn the wheel. It's a little bit hard to turn, but it'll work. So that makes it a lot easier to access the pads and the caliper bolts behind here. Now, if you're not changing out the pads, you can leave the pads in the caliper here and just remove the whole caliper. In my case, I am replacing the pads. I have the Power Stop Track Day pads on here, which, you know, did cause a lot of the aggressive rotor wear. So I am replacing the pads with the OEM Brembo pads that came with the Z51 package. So I am going to do the pad swap. Actually, I'm just gonna take the pads off completely, then remove the caliper, then put the pads on when I replace the caliper back on. So um, I'm not gonna show you the pad part because like I said, there is a video on the channel. I will link it below and in a card above. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna start with removing the old brake pads from the caliper. And there's a good bit of wear on these track pads. Uh, not completely worn, but definitely could use changed. So now that we removed the pads, we're ready to remove the big Brembo caliper. So. There are two caliper bracket bolts in the back here. They're 21 millimeter, pretty large bolts, and they are torqued to 162 foot pounds, so pretty tight. If you can get an impact behind there, that would make your life easier. Otherwise, you're gonna need to use a breaker bar to remove them. I fortunately can use my impact, so I'm gonna remove those two bolts. Now, before you take the next bolt out, you are gonna wanna box or something under the vehicle that you could place the caliper on because you don't want it hanging from the brake line. Also, you don't wanna scratch the paint, of course. So you want something uh, that's not gonna scratch, like you don't wanna put it on a cement floor. So I'm just gonna place it onto this box. All right. Gently set the caliper down. So now the rotor could come off. It's already loose because there's no corrosion since I don't drive this in the winter. But technically there's supposed to be a set screw here to hold the rotor on. Mine doesn't have it. My car was under the recall many years ago where they had the cooling ring rotors uh, replaced with these solid rotors. So the dealer replaced these and I guess they didn't put the set screw in. I don't have any. I'm just going to leave it off. Yeah, so the rotors just uh, hang in there. So just be careful. I'm just going to clean off the hub a little bit with the wire brush. Any of that little bit of rust corrosion. And I'm going to spray it down with a little bit of brake clean. And I'm going to spray down the new rotor with some brake clean. Next, I'm gonna apply some anti-seize to that hub surface, just so we don't get any corrosion for the next time. 
you have to change rotors. And then I'm gonna apply it around the hub as well. Now we can put the new rotor on. I'm still gonna line up the set screw where it's supposed to be, even though I don't have one. This way, in case I get a set screw, it'll be in a correct position. Okay, so now we're ready to get the caliper back on. And before we do, I purchased new GM bolts. This is the part number, and it's actually pretty easy. They are on Amazon. I will put a link below. So pretty convenient to get those. It is recommended to get new bolts with the pre-applied uh, Loctite here. So let me unpackage these and we'll get everything lined up. So I think the easiest approach is to put the caliper bracket bolts into the bracket, but don't let them come through the other side just so they're ready. And then pick up the caliper carefully and slide it. Again, this rotor is moving because I don't have that set screw. And then you're gonna try to line up the caliper with those bolts. Get them started by hand if you can. Get them going by hand. Then you can use the impact to get them snug. But then you're gonna have to torque these down to 162 foot pounds, which is a lot. <laughs> okay, so that is the toughest part is tightening up 162 foot pounds, those bolts. But once that's on, all I'm gonna do is replace the pads with the OEM Brembo pads. Pretty easy process again with the two pins and spring and put the wheel on and that's it. And like I said, there is a T32 set screw that's missing on my car, uh, but otherwise you would have that to remove and replace. Now I am going to replace the rear pads as well. Again, I'm not gonna show you that because I have a video on the channel, so go check that out. I'll put links below. All right, last thing left to do is put the wheel back on. I straighten out the steering wheel so it's easier to get the wheel on square. Uh, one last thing, the brake pads, they are Brembo branded, but they're actually the Ferrodo HP 1000s. So they are a good quality pad. I'm gonna see how they do uh, with daily and performance driving. So stay tuned for that and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped and I'll see you in the next video.